Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. We are over here at the Voyager booth. We are about to check out some very cool electric bikes and something called space shoes. So it looks like it's all going to be very cool tech, a way to get around electric, manual, electric and manual together. Let's go check it out. So uh, I'm Lloyd Gladstone. I'm the head of product development for uh, Voyager. Uh, we make uh, personal electrical, electric vehicles like this electric bike right here. Um, this bike goes 15 miles per hour and 15 miles on a charge. It's a $4.99 retail price. And a really unique feature about this one is uh, and this little compartment opens up and there's a built-in uh, charging adapter. So whenever you need to charge up, get some extra juice, you can just plug it into any AC outlet. So this one right here is the Voyager Compass electric bike. Um, What's great about this one is the handle folds down and uh, it's great for you know easy storage. You can actually fit it in the trunk of a car. Uh, it's got a built-in LCD that tells you your uh, speed and uh, how much range you have left. And it's got the tail light and the uh, headlight. And uh, it, it, what's really nice about it is it has three modes. So you could go full electric with the throttle or you could kick it into uh, pedal assist or full manual mode, which is good in case you run out of juice, you could always pedal it like an old school bike. Yeah, so this is our Dash Charge Commuter Pro electric scooter. And uh, what's really unique about this scooter is we designed a wireless charging mount for your smartphone right into the handlebar. So a lot of people, you know, they ride scooters and they want to know where they're going. So they pull out their phone, they're trying to balance the scooter in one hand, look at their GPS in the other hand, and it's really inconvenient and kind of a safety concern as well. So we wanted to develop this to make it a great user experience and also uh, safe for the customer so they don't need to ever take their hands off the handlebar or take their eyes off the road. Um, so when you pop your phone in there, automatically starts charging wirelessly. If you don't have a wireless charging phone, there's a USB port built into the handlebar and it connects to the scooter via Bluetooth. So using the Voyager app has a lot of great features, but the one great feature that I personally find very useful and I love is uh, the, the range management tool. So it can accurately estimate exactly how much range you have left in the scooter. So if you punch in a destination and you don't have enough juice to get there, you'll get a warning that pops up and says, just so you know, you don't have enough juice to get to your destination. So uh, you never find yourself in that solution where you're heading somewhere, you run out of juice halfway and you have to hail a cab. So this one here, we have three different scooters in the Dash Charge line. This one, the Dash Charge Commuter Pro, goes 15 miles on a charge, goes 16 miles per hour, and it has a, uh, front and rear suspension, which gives you a nice soft ride, uh, built-in headlight and tail light, and nice big eight inch tires. Uh, this is a 240 pound weight capacity. So these here are the Voyager space shoes, and it works kind of like a hoverboard. They have the self-balancing technology, as you can see, they're uh, standing there on their own, and you just kind of hop on there. And like a hoverboard, you could maneuver with both feet. So. Uh, they're kind of the evolution of the hoverboard. They're very convenient. They have a, a carrying strap, which makes them easier to carry. And because they're independent and smaller units, you can throw them in a backpack, and they're a lot more fun than a regular hoverboard. A kind of a, a, a marriage between the hoverboard and, uh, and, and rollerblades, I guess you could say. There's definitely a bit of a learning curve, but it's kind of like the hoverboard because it has the self-balancing technology. It's, it does a lot of the work for you, so it's a lot more intuitive than a lot of people might expect. And if you've tried a hoverboard before, then you'll get on this and it'll, you'll feel right at home. It's very similar to the user experience of a hoverboard. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look. We were able to check out a couple of the bikes. We were able to check out the space shoes, a scooter. They have all kinds of cool tech here. I'm hoping to get some samples of it in the new year so I can show you guys a better way to commute, save the planet with some electric uh, bikes, and pedal your way into happiness. And so, yeah. But anyways, cool tech. Thanks for Lloyd. Shout out to Lloyd for uh, doing the demos. And uh, this is uh, Larry at CES 2020. Um, I'm going to leave product, I'm gonna leave links to everything down below in the video description so you can check everything out. And uh, thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. Oh, don't forget, subscribe. Bing! And follow me on Facebook. <laughs> and now, thanks for coming back to see me. And come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.